into the online broadcast network. After Buzz TV, over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Hey, everybody, we're back! Such a long time ago. I didn't. I can't even remember the last time we were here. I'm <laughs> just kidding. So, welcome to Castle Season Eight, Episode Two X Double X. I'm just gonna say it that way. I am your host, Alexis Torres. You can find me all over social media, where Alexis Torres is are sold at <laughs> A Torres. <laughs> but guys, I cannot do the show alone because it would be very boring. To my left here, I've got a beautiful lady. Oh yes, thank you. I'm JJ Snyder. We're back. Season 8, Episode 2, and look who we brought into what? the studio. Hello. Hello. What? Hello, everybody. Anyone recognize this guy? This is Sun Krishbala, the actor who uh, starred in the second episode. Who I have thoughts for, but I'm going to... I'm gonna Save your thoughts. Yeah, let me, let me ramp up into this yeah, thing. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to mm, keep it all to myself now. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, this was exciting, right? Oh, my God. It was so exciting. It was exciting and scary and, and, and um, just... It's been wild. Yeah. Yeah. And did you watch it on Monday night? I watched it on Monday night. I was like madly tweeting everyone back. Nice. People were mad. Some people were really mad at me. Oh, I can see that. You can oh. see it. Are you one of those people? Yeah. I didn't tweet at you. I was going to wait until I saw okay. you in Okay. Okay. Give it just to saying. me live. I'm just kidding. No, I'm really excited hmm. to see how your character goes, but I'm also really suspicious of your character because I'm like, I don't know you. You're new. I don't like change. Mm. Mm. I don't know, I well, we're just good. Change is necessary. Yeah. Change is difficult, but I it's necessary. But I will accept it for now. Thank you. And we we are as fans dealing with a lot of change at the beginning of the season. You know what mm. I mean? Because it's like they threw us right into it. They really mm. didn't like not like without nope. a moment's notice. Didn't even mm. give me a chance to breathe. Yeah. Like at mm. all. Yeah, we had that happy little moment, and then uh, it was off to the off, like off to the races. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm okay. We're, um, we're so glad you're here joining us today because we're yeah. going to get into this. No, and I want to because there was a lot that happened in this episode, but I wanted to reach out to you guys and say thank you guys for hanging out with us and really being ready because I've been getting tweets since season seven. Be like, when's season eight happening? Who's going to be on the panel? Who's going to be your guest? Obviously, we already have one. We already answered your prayers on that Hi. one. Um, and that don't forget to go to iTunes. Please rate us five stars or four stars if we need a little bit of improvement. Put some comments in there. Don't forget to hang out with us on the live chat, which I already can see you on there. And, and can I say, if yes. you are listening on iTunes, you know, which would be a podcast, mm -hmm. hello. <laughs> hello, iTunes. See, we, we, we love all of you guys. And also, don't forget to go to uh, the YouTube page and leave a comment there because we're always going to ask that. And also, if you're using Twitter, use that hashtag ABTV Castle. So, now that I've gotten that, you got all it out of all the way, out, girl. We need to talk about you, sir, and your character and how you just disrupted our beautiful castle couple. To I get needed your her stuff help. Done. <laughs> I needed her help. I, know. I was in a lot of trouble. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm so excited that this happened because I wanted to see her in action, and I really felt bad that Castle kind of got left in the dust. But I feel like it was just kind of cool to see her in her element. You know, kind of not ready for it. Well, so. and just b being so, she's such a thoughtful person, mm -hmm. uh, Beckett is, and to just see her having to react and just know that her instincts are on lock. Seriously, what mm -hmm. a badass. I mean, and she had to stitch. <laughs> I mean, she had to stitch herself up. That was that scene. That whole oh. time, I was just like, Ugh. I felt I'm like trying to listen to you. such a wuss complaining about my low blood tweet. sugar. I saw your tweet. Yeah, about you love that. blood sugar. Yeah, I was, yeah. well, I, hey, blood sugar is nothing. To hey, no, that is true. What? That is true. That's how I felt about your character. I was, I was like, like, oh no, he somebody get him, needs some, get him some food. I didn't know that is not a joke, but yeah. really, I mean, she, she, there, there was a yeah, hole in her was, body. Yeah, she was drinking vodka she and pouring vodka out of her. Okay, that that was absolutely shocking, and it took me back to a time when my dad actually stitched up a um. A, a cut in my foot as a child. Uh, uh, my dad uh, was a doctor, but he decided instead of taking me to the hospital and letting me have uh, anesthetic, he would like just do it like cowboy style. And I will never what did he, forget. Did he, did he like light the the the, 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 the needle. sewing needle and stuff? You know, I he had a he had a proper um, uh, surgical needle at home because uh, okay. he had oh, so a little doctor. So kit. wild west. No, it, but it 
hurts. Yeah. The fact that she was just like, uh, did it give uh, you a cork uh, to chew on like they no. did in the Civil War? No, but my sister, my older sister, nice. was holding was a good me, touch. and I was like, it was so Civil War. That's what I was getting at. <laughs> well, no, when I Civil War, signs, they give you whiskey. They give yeah. you whiskey. Yeah, that was my first thought. I'm like, I oh, vodka. Whiskey. All right. So, I mean, to me, that was well. First of all, we also saw her in her brassiere, which was I was like, um, very I'm jealous. Racy. She has a nice bra. That might have been my first that? day. I did. I was like, what? Not I, said I, would. Yeah, I was trying to play it like I was trying to be a gentleman having yeah. just met uh, the lovely Stata. Yeah, it's like, hey, Stata, how are you? Oh, your shirt's off. Okay, oh, nice to happening. meet you. Yeah. Um, um, so, but yeah, I can't say that I hated it. No, I'm, I'm jealous for you. Do you like, remember meeting her, being introduced to her? Tell us what that was like. Yeah, please. Oh, gosh. Um, she's amazing. She, I literally, I was, I'm a shy person. And I, I met her for the first day. We were, the first day we were shooting... Um, the stuff when I meet her in the theater mm-hmm. and she had just gotten back from filming in Italy she was doing a movie this That's summer right. in Italy mm-hmm. and um, we didn't like she she was rushing somewhere else and we, we we shot the first take of the scene and they were moving the cameras around and she literally goes Sunkrish sit down what the hell is your story and then we sat and oh. by the end of the day she is, she is the cutest I love oh. her so cool I'm it's so too bad. cool she's cool. so nice she's I just like, like time out we're taking time, out. time to connect with you what's your deal no, uh, yeah. Stana, I don't know how, I know you don't have any kids right now, but if you would like to adopt a, a, a really pretty half black, half Filipino girl that would love you forever, that'd be me. Uh. <laughs> I, would, I would love to listen to you talk about stories. Anyway, that, was, that wasn't creepy. Um, so obviously we had you guys start out and you guys are in this drug bust apartment and that was, I was not expecting that. For, for a second there, I thought it was her mm. old apartment. That's what I was thinking. Mm. I was like, and it just she just for, like the maid stopped coming. Yeah, well, no, because I know that she she moved out and that she was moving in with Castle. I think so she kept her apartment. Did she? I okay, think she I missed did. that completely. See, I'm not even a true fan. Um, but I don't know if they like talked about it, but I think she said like it was important to her that she also kept her apartment. No, smart. Mm. Um, no, I don't blame her because that was Little a beautiful independence. apartment. No, I yeah, love it. And um, your your character's like, I'm, I'm. Are you sure we're safe here? Like, which well, yeah, it, the look place, at the place. I mean, the place uh, that we were shooting was like in a warehouse in in downtown LA mm, yeah um, I can tell and, yeah and um it didn't smell safe yeah I bet uh, I bet it I mean that literally terrible. it smelled terrible in oh there. it was well, it was genuinely it wasn't dressed to look dirty it was genuinely dirty um, There's a well lot. the art department's amazing so I don't know yeah. what was dressed and what was okay. not but uh mission accomplished yeah uh we were filming really late at night so I like I just felt bad for the like the last guy on the crew cleaning up because it's the darkest scariest well, there's right. probably somebody there that must have helped him. Like, there's no way he was there by himself, right? No? Maybe? Well, there's always, like, one guy who's turning off the lights at the end. True. Yeah. That's true. The key. Oh, man. Yeah. I feared for I that hope guy. that you get paid a lot, yeah. my friend. Yeah. That would suck. Um, but I love how you guys got saved by broken glass. Because yeah. in my brain, I'm thinking, okay, these guys are really stealthy. You guys, she's sitting there washing her face. She's about to walk out of the bathroom, also, leave her gun in there. there's a million of them. Yeah, I don't know how they were able yes. to do that. So as soon as I heard broken uh, glass and then Kate stopped, I was like... How about the, like, the shot of the gun on the sink? Where you're just yeah. like, no, no as soon as gun. she walked out of her the bathroom, I was like, why did she leave her gun in there? Yes, yes, you it was killing me. You shouldn't do that. Yeah. And then she was like, oh, darn it, I left it in there. And I was just like, no. I know. And then the glass, and then the glass, and yep. then she turns and yells to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then she covers you. And, and then, awesomest scene that we were asking you about before we started today is that running down the hall and you're being, there's there's lasers. just There's lasers gun going, shots. there's what? gunshots going off against the wall, which by the way, I did my own stunts, everybody. Yeah, tell us about that. Uh, Stana didn't. Uh, <laughs> oh. Dang, calling you out, calling Stana. Calling out. Oh. Cut it. Um, no, uh, no, she had to do like the heavy. She was like pr- literally protecting me, um, yeah. and <laughs> because uh, Vikram uh, does not so much with the uh, shooting and the uh, running. Um, so yeah, it was uh, it was my first time. It was my first time really doing a stunt on television. Mm. Um, That's awesome. I I do comedies a lot. Um, I mean, I, I wonder would why. Never tell. I don't know. Um, yeah. but, but uh, that they from? literally were like, um, all right, the crew was given like safety goggles and like. Uh, Earplugs, and mm-hmm. we're like, there are going to be live explosions on the thing. They're like, Sunkers, good luck to you. Ah, uh, go for it. Uh, you'll be fine. You'll be great. You'll be yeah. fine. They kind of uh, threw you into it. <laughs> and I will stand by. <laughs> I have to say, like in person too, like you have a real fun, funny vibe. And on the, the episode, <gasps> like fun, fun e. How fun? I'm not funny. Like, like, how dare like a you? Clown. Like, <laughs> like a clown. I think. It, are you entertained right now? You get. You get what I. You're. You're <laughs> playful. Can I switch? Yes, Adjectives? I am playful. Are you cool with that? Yeah. Okay. I was cool with the other one too. Now, what I noticed I in your episode, because I I looked you up and I knew you were joining us, and so I kind of looked at you know roughly your age. You really um, came across as mature 
in the episode. Thank you. Yeah, like Thank you. like you could have been 35. Oh, I am not I mean, 35. But you know what it is? <gasps> no, you're not. No. Um, not I, would, I was like nowhere it's, close. It's I think it's your voice because you have a deep voice. I have a deep voice? You yeah, do. like even on the I show. Do. I was just like, Whoa. You do. Whoa. My voice is deep. Guy it's is. quite deep. It's no, do you know what I mean? Like no, no. he really no. had a um I thought I thought you a mature were mature vibe on the Until I met you today, episode. I thought that you were um a drama actor. Really? Mm-hmm. I I've only recently started to be able to do dramas for like the, I'm 31 and the better part of my 20s I spent doing a bunch of comedy. See, I didn't even think you were in your 30s. I thought you were like 27. Really? I had yeah. the opposite problem. When I started the first show I ever did, mm-hmm. I had a wife and a kid and I played 35 and I was 19 years old. Whoa. And then I, gosh. I've sort right. of Whoa. been switching oh. and it's been weird. Also, oh, okay. can, can we can we talk about part of the reality? And that is, I mean, does the facial hair have anything to do with it? Does the facial hair... My picture make me younger, you're saying? Well, does it allow you to play both younger and older? Because it's almost like a, you know, like a little... I don't know. What right. it really it's doing for me is giving hmm. me a jawline I don't have. That's <laughs> really the, the purpose of this thing. Uh, but maybe, I don't know. Well, I mean, I understand what JJ's saying is because right now the lumberjack look or just the scruffy manly look is like a thing right now, which yeah. I mm-hmm. didn't know that was a thing. But um, It's been a thing for a while. You know it. Yeah. Well, you, you, I'm not, come on. So I thought, you, you don't like it? Mm-mm. I'll shave tonight. No, oh, don't oh. do that. I think it looks good on you. I knew he is I smitten just, with you. I'm just one of those people. Like I mean, and we'll talk later. Okay. Um, but no, it was more along the lines of... I, I had that dad that if he just shaved and he had stubble, he would like rub it across your face. Oh, yeah, like, yeah my dad then... too. Sandpaper yeah. kisses. It is so sandpaper. <sighs> but that's those. cute. It's part of being a man. Yeah. Um, I get so, it. <laughs> can I ask you a personal Straight question? Up. Yes, please. Are you, do you consider yourself a hipster? <gasps> no. Why See, would you say that? Because it's associated with beards. That's a fair I question. No, I don't think I'm a hipster at all. I don't think I'm cool enough to be a hipster. Like, I don't know any Lies. obscure bands. I don't know mainstream bands. Um, okay. I, so, no. And, like, I really thought I was like grew this beard to look like a lumber sexual person. I think it's um, working for you. But the, br- but the brown, it's a thing. It's, it's a thing. It's a thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's but awesome. yeah, I ended up looking like one of the seven dwarfs. No, um, the um, the but the beard, the brownness counteracts the thing because like brown and beard is also another thing. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, Looks thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, we like thanks. it. You're welcome. Thanks, guys. Um, <laughs> before we keep going and just throwing compliments at you, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I also have to talk about the fact that um, just I love how because of, between these two episodes, how we were able to see from Cass's perspective and then see it from you and Kate's perspective. Mm-hmm. That was awesome. How they were so able, cool, like my right? favorite scene, which again I know that I'm probably going to speed through a lot of this, is the fact of the security scene in the hotel. That was my favorite part of jumping oh. from when it was actually happening 16 hours before to and the clock moving. Oh, so cool. Just seeing what they were looking at, what Alexis and Haley were looking at through the security cameras and cutting back to you guys in real time. Like that was, mm. it was Fine. really interesting yeah. for us to, to do that. And because I don't think Castle's done anything like that before. Nope. Mm-hmm. Um, and the, I mean, all credit to the writers. They were, they wrote an amazing Castle episode, but it was really amazing. interesting to see, um, how the audience would be able to track mm-hmm. that. And I know they put a lot of work into the logic and the mm-hmm. timeline of both the uh, what was going on with Castle and with Beckett. Which I know mm-hmm. a lot of TV shows can do that and you're kind of like, huh? Like, what's happening? What time frame are we in? What when time is zone? this actually yeah, it happening? Jumping. But you guys were able to do that so flawlessly and I'm not like saying that you guys watered it down or anything, but you well, guys you were say able you guys, to make I it... had very little to do with it. Well, you know, but even just your acting in general was just, it was still great. Like, I was sitting at the edge of my seat going, they're in the door. He is still at the bar, had a shot of whiskey, and is like, oh, you're about to... T-. And it's, then you got out with your tip mm, on there already. I yeah, was like, this guy. Yeah. We need to hang out Gratuity's more. is important. Hey, man, no. Ah! No. Kids, tip <laughs> of the day. Much, how Gratuity. much do you think is an appropriate amount to tip? I'm a straight only because I the like the math is easy. I just divide mm-hmm. by five. I, uh, I go okay. I just do the mm-hmm. straight twenty percent. There's a 20%. reason why I'm in entertainment. I can't do math. So uh-huh. well, yeah, and and people assume I can do math, and mm-hmm. people assume that I can. Be, I'm a good tech person. Like I don't know. <gasps> that was actually for, a question uh, from Mariana. She was like, "Are you an are you like yes. tech savvy? Like your like your uh, I grew character? up in Silicon Valley to Indian parents, and um, so unfortunately for them, it's your birthright. It, yeah. it's, it should be in my blood, <laughs> and uh, it's not. Yeah, all right. It is not. I. I literally had to take a friend to help me buy my new MacBook because I didn't know what, what to the get. Apple Store people were saying to me. Well, well you like, know what it just sounds like we like to do here at AfterBuzz? We like to just shatter stereotypes. So I think we just did that. Thank you. Right? Progress. I mean, I just did it earlier. <laughs> I'm blazing all the way. Um, That's right. But, Blasian with b- purple b- hair. Blasian. Yeah. What? Um, but 
the that but I know that we we didn't get to really like talk about it, but that was my favorite scene was just because of the fact that it was just really well done. It was just smooth as glass editing. We all understood what was going on, and just I wasn't expecting everything that came out of it with the fact of uh, Bracken being dead. Like I wasn't expecting that. Were mm-hmm. you expecting Doesn't that? Doesn't that change no. the game a little bit? It does. No. And I'm really glad that that was the thing that just like really did that mm, twist, yeah. like that whole thing. So that was really cool, and I love how. The word before he died, that the word lockstat was enough to make, or mm-hmm. yeah, lockstat, lock, yeah, was able to seriously shake up a person who was just. You see his face yeah. just fall. Well, yeah, I'm, totally. That actor, I've loved him since like He's Heroes really and a couple good. other things, but like he, he'll be back on Heroes. I know, but like. I, just I don't think he's ge- going to be back on Castle. No, I don't think so. If he does, it'd be, that would be hard to race. believe because that what's that? Flashbacks. Yeah, true. That's true. Right. Um, but I don't know. I know that was a, that was a good assumption, but no, just. Just thinking about how the fact of whatever this thing is is enough to shake Bracken down to his skivvies. Like, that's kind of mm-hmm. crazy. Well, they said that he, like, attacked someone so that he would get into solitary so that no one could get to him. And no, then which they was. got to him. Well, that's the thing is that he probably thought because of the fact that Kate and Castle had shown up already, that's two times too many mm-hmm. to have this word being sought out to mm-hmm. him. So uh, that was probably a red flag. And he already knew that he was probably going to die. So he thought maybe at least if I die here. Not like oh, I thought it was so that he could separate himself from the no, general population no, no. so that he maybe wouldn't die. Yeah, but I think in the same time, just like um, our our mystery brunette in the first episode who was like, I'm going down on my own terms. I think they, they, they just I know that they're... I think there's an element of that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that that's exactly what happened, but in my brain, I'm, the, the first thing I thought of was, oh, he wants to make sure that he's safe, but I'm like, are you really safe from these people? They right. seem like the type that would just like, right. any means, you right. are dead. That's why I'm surprised. And it Kate turns is still out alive. you're right. Yeah, you're right. Mm. Um, but I, that's why I'm really scared for Kate in this one. Which, um, as much as I know, a lot of fans are very upset with this ending, with the fact of uh, Rita, who is well, she calls herself Rita, is Castle's stepmom. She helped you guys get out of that crazy, very smelly area to <laughs> hang out. You're with. like who? Who are you? Well, yeah. I'm just who assuming that lady? obviously she's just. I mean, the way I liked, I use the term cleaner because that's what a uh-huh. lot of people use in other TV shows. I don't know if that's actually what it's called. But the fact that she used the keyword, which she gave you guys the card and everything, was like, oh, you need your curtains cleaned. Curtains I was like, cleaned. oh, you're a cleaner. So you're the person that, you know, what is your, What is a cleaner? Yeah. Uh, someone who assassinates someone and then cleans it up without people knowing. It's kind of like what, uh, like, Olivia Pope does, but instead of her being a fixer, she's, like, a person who can kill somebody and clean it up at the same time and not have anyone else be attached to it. That's why she can't be around other people because she, she has too much blood on her hands. Right, already. I'm sure wow. that's an aspect of her job. I wouldn't doubt it. Again, mm. I'm just speculating because I'm one of those people that like, I'm with you. Way... I'm speculating with you. Well, thanks. Um, Did but... you have to read the script like multiple, multiple times to, to like, understand keep up? what was going on? Because to... there was a lot of yeah, Well, I was new to Castle, so I, mm. I had to read it. I like to read scripts a lot, but like mm. I, I was also new to Castle, so I was just trying to get the... For the first time, I was trying to get figure out who was who, and yeah, then um, totally. and then um, the the subsequent times it was to just yeah to get the rhythm of it and the time was going back and forth. Yeah, it was the first couple. It was a challenge a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you mentioned uh, that you went back and watched past episodes, so you yeah, had like, like I'm Castle all Binge. caught up. I, yeah, I had yeah. like the it was me and my mom actually. I was visiting my awesome. mom for a week what? and we sat and watched. Every season of Castle. Oh my Yay. gosh! It's like we would wake up and just castle it for like <laughs> for hours. Um, That's so cool. Yeah, she's actually in India right now, and she I was on set and she, uh, we were doing a scene with everybody, and she she hit me on Facetime, and I was like, "Mom, look who it is!" And she fangirled out hard. Oh my oh, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That is so neat. Does your mom like the show? My mom has she a loves big the crush on Nathan Fillion. My mom like, does too. I'm, Full on. Yeah. I'm the yeah? only person in my family who watches Castle and loves Nathan Fillion to a point. Like, I fell in love with him in Firefly, and that's like where it where That's where it grew. From. Yeah. There's still time for us to work on your family, Alexis. It's not going to happen. Okay. Right. <laughs> I tried. Trust right. me. It's pretty sad. <laughs> um, but uh, the other thing that we, we obviously got to talk about, which is, again, with your um, your character, was the fact that we don't know actually what your whole ordeal is, you which sure I'm don't. really glad that we kept that mystery still kind of you open. Sure don't. Um, no? If you don't know what we're talking about, we, we had Allison Hyde come in, who wanted to help out as much as she can, and we found out that Vikram actually... Uh, forged his records to get into well is she pull. being honest no but that's the thing is that's what i wanted to get to get into you i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry finish. that's why we brought you in we want the real story yeah but well he can't give away too much I know. but yeah 
I, I can't give away any. <laughs> yeah. So, there was, so we we felt like we know we knew who you were Absurd. like three quarters of the way through the episode, and then it was like this this nice guy who we thought we know who he was. Maybe he's not. Right. And then all of a sudden, I've got a knife, and I'm like waving that around, offering her food, and then am I gonna stab her? And I like how they leaves. did that. The fact of like we don't know if we can trust him. Cutting cut, tomatoes. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I love how, and I loved how your demeanor kind of changed for this reveal. Because at first you're just like, oh, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Oh, I think I'm just gonna stick with you though. Because we need to stick together. And I'm like, all right, what's happening now? You're super confident that you want to hang out with Kate now? I mean, it is Donna, so yeah. who doesn't want to hang who out with Donna? Who doesn't want to spend time with that lady? Especially yeah. after you saw her sew up her abdomen. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't think she was looking at her sewn up abdomen, but I anyway. don't think so either. <laughs> um, but I love how also, I mean, it's not completely your fault, but at the same time, it's actually Kate's fault because she actually was the one doing the research on Bracken and his mysterious... Mm-hmm partner thank you so that's what i'm saying i thank can't you, get completely Alexis. mad at you because it's not technically mm-hmm. all your fault mm-hmm. you're just doing your job thank you you so. were actually the first person mm-hmm. to say that and i felt this way for the longest time but i felt like i couldn't say it well do you feel vindicated people, people uh, in the universe yeah can yeah. you put that out no, there a little more people in the mm. universe she started look at my eyes mm. kate technically did this i mean i can't get mad at her and i can't get mad at him either he's doing his job she's doing hers and i mean it was two years Two but years, nothing anything. happened, yeah. And then now just all the poop hits the fan. Mm-hmm. And it was just terrible. And I'm, I feel bad because that's five people dead. Or no, I guess six because Allison's on there too. My life's Spoiler upside alert. down. How yeah. about my life? Yeah. My life's Sitting a little. There, you know what? Basically, why you got to blame it on Vikram? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to. Why? It's just that right now he's just that weird that weird mystery card that we don't know what's happening. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I can't get mad at you because you were like, my life's in the in danger. Calls yeah. Donna. Yeah. So, yeah, it's all good. Thanks. Um, what, what, what was the level of alert you told her it was? Seven. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was level mm. seven. That's right. Seven? Yeah. Yeah, okay. so you're right. That means life or death. Yeah, no, that's what we're, she said. We're going to use that now on what? this this after that's show. level seven? It's yeah. level seven right level now. Seven. We have to talk like, about Well, especially that ending. Right Every All the fans, I think, are on level seven with this ending right now. Oh, my gosh. So much so, feedback on this ending. You guys are upset. Hey, man, I'm just saying we we found out what 2011 BD stood for. We found out it was an airline. I love how they both came to this conclusion at the same time. See, even then, apart, they are in sync. That's why mm. I'm not worried again, but we'll get to that. But um, we I've, got we got to the point of, I'm gonna, are I've you got, sinking? I got a note that I have to oh. raise my chair. Okay. Yes. Oh, hey there it is. is it gonna stay? Um, oh, hey, you just got a lot taller. taller. Hey, um, but yes. the fact that uh, 2011 BD was in, in, um, Much better. Yeah. Was an airline, and we had... We had them all meet up at the same time, and I feel powerful. You it was are. a it was a tail number, right? What are you, ta- what are you sorry? Sorry, you I was trying number. to. I'm we just, were off on our own. No, okay. I was just trying they, to read off all airline. these notes to get it out of the way. So yes. we were at the tail number of an airplane. We get to, we get to the point of you guys corner the pilot. You guys, uh, do you know? How, you know when she gives you a gun and she's like, mm. do you know how to use this? Oh, I think I can figure it out. Cock, and I'm like, what is that? Well, hold on. I worked at the yeah. AG's office. I'm trained. Like, I'm I'm a federal yeah. agent. I just belong behind a desk. So I think we all go through some sort of training. But it was just, it was so perfect because everyone's just like, oh, yeah, he's not going to know. Oh, no, he knows how to use that. Right. <laughs> did you, did you kind of make a choice? Like, yeah, I'm going to cock this. Yeah, guy. I was like, like I'm going to, I'm going to be really cool about this. I, yeah. I, so and it, it was so awesome. I was like, oh, man, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> this is going to be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> did uh, did the props people like give you a little tutorial so on that? I've never gun? shot a gun before. Okay, <laughs> and it's I've never, weird. I've never cocked a gun. It's before. weird at first. Yeah. It's I thought I would hate it because I thought like oh I don't really like guns or whatever. It's I shot cool. that first gun, and we were at an airport where they were teaching me. So like bearded brown guy at the airport. Oh jeez. On oh, the tarmac. My gosh. On the tarmac shooting guns. We had to like we have cops on, wow. on set to like oh, no, to lock yeah. up the set and of stuff. Of course. So we we had to be like yo this oh, is happening God. everything's cool. He's just practicing how to shoot it. Um, he's with us. He's yeah, with we're us. all good. We're, everything's fine. Yeah, everything's fine. Uh, but yeah, I shot. I shot. It, it, it took me. It took me a second to, to look like Did I a knew great what job. I was doing. Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. I was sitting there going, Felt "All really right, cool." It was the mm. first for me. But again, mm. that was that first flag of like, okay, buddy. All right, but uh, <laughs> now that you mention it, that the fact you did work at the AG, so that makes sense. You know, you were in DC. Yeah, you're he's a federal agent. agent. No, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. It makes sense. So now I can throw that out. Okay. Now you know you're already getting higher on my level there. Um, but. We, we get there, obviously, we have a cute little reunion between the t- two of them. Haley's like, all right, guys, this is very <laughs> touching, but we, we have other things that How we How awesome do. is she? But I'm sure you talked about that the last episode. We did, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. that she's just cool. And a lot of people are wondering, do you, I mean, they want to know, for us at least, do we think that Haley's going to make a return? We did talk about that for episode yeah. one. But they want to know if you're going to be uh, hanging out a yeah. little bit longer in season eight. 
if I'm gonna be hanging out, mm-hmm. any you will talk about me. Oh, <gasps> see, he can't tell us completely, Boom. but apparently that's happening. Cool. There, there will be things happening okay. when I am involved. Oh, okay. I'm okay with this because my I don't. Again, we're gonna get into predictions a little bit more later on uh, after our beautiful interview with you. But okay. the one thing I wanted to predict is that I hope that you will be, be a part of the team and help out since we don't have our. Our analyst, uh, I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but she was a brunette on the on the season remember, last year, yeah. and I couldn't find her. So I was like, "Is she gone? Are you going to be the new analyst?" Is well, that what's happening? I will say this: mm-hmm. I do. I am really good at that job, and my job isn't waiting for me in DC anymore. Uh, I think, guys, I think I got that what? one on the nose. Wait a second, did yeah. you just like unravel what's happening, Alexis? Guys, I've been watching since season one. I know oh what I'm gosh. doing. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. I this love you guys. is fantastic, <laughs> but. We had a reunion and it was cut really short because Rita shows back up and talks to her because Kate, you know, we all know how Kate is, is that the fact that she cannot let things go. She is not Elsa. That's not how that works. She cannot let it go. She's she going has to. a passion for justice. And that's mm-hmm. fine. She's my new Batman. That's how that works in my brain. But Rita told her that that's not how life works. It's going to, it's either you need to go on your own or you need to just let it go and be happy with the life that you have. And we Rita kind of kind of like uh, made her look in the mirror. But that's, you know, she's kind of like, look. Also, wait, wait. Rita's the Here's... example of what your life would be if you go down that rabbit yes. hole, Also, she said. Speaking, yeah, of the, speaking of yeah. mirrors, yeah. mister, well, I love how in what? this episode that the mirror was the only way that Alexis could see what you were working on your computer, and I was like, wow, TV magic. Also, what class at Columbia is that taught in? That's what uh, I'm saying. And also, how yeah. great are those surveillance cameras right. to zoom in so far and clear up this one image? I'm sorry, guys. You know how I'm nitpicky about TV spoilers. TV reality. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, but also another thing I, I was upset with was Allison Hyde as well, not to continue into that, but the fact that um, we found out that the burner phone that you so awesomely found out was connected to just her phone. Mm-hmm. And we sadly see her as she has taken her own life in, in that. Which, again, another version we talked about in episode one was the fact that this season is starting off really dark. Mm-hmm. We had the, the Legion of Spider uh, thing happening last Oof. episode. Yeah, no thank you. And the fact of we had... Do you have a fear of spiders? You just I have a fear um, of... Anything creepy and crawly. Okay, because yeah. we've yeah we've both discussed we've both that connected we, on we don't that like spiders topic. and cockroaches. I won't. I don't like snakes. I mm-hmm. uh, see. I'm okay with snakes. Mm. I oh. actually have a few of them at home. Do you really? Yeah. We're over. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you guys. I mean, they're not they're not mine. Could've they're they're my roommates. But are you still gonna shave? Even though. Maybe just to spite her. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Now you're playing games. <laughs> <laughs> Man, um, <laughs> can't even continue right now. Done. Hashtag baby face. <laughs> <laughs> done. Can't do the show anymore. Oh, yeah, no. I'm just kidding. Um, but no, so obviously. They're like locked away, the snakes, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they don't hang out. They're in their cages. I, think okay. that's what I would tell you. They're, they're my, like, my girl that like drapes a snake. No, that's her. my roommate. They're, they're her snakes, and she's a belly dancer, so she uh, uses the snakes. No way. Oh. Your roommate's a belly dancer? Yep, and she's um, a fire spinner, and she yes. does like Wasteland Weekend and Burning Man. My sister's a juggler and a hula hooper. Hey, that's cool. We should get these together. Disney version of everything her roommate is pretty much that's exactly what that is i'm also a hula dancer that's a thing i love that are you a hula dancer yeah my my family some of my family are from hawaii they're half filipino half hawaiian so oh, my roommates are yeah. hawaiian. oh that's cool mm-hmm. we should all hang out um wow. mostly just me getting back into the good spots of uh of uh sunkers. okay anyway um so we had that and obviously we got to the the point of uh kate has packed her bags she is told castle that she loves Sorry, it's really hard to talk about this. Show. She loves well, him, and I mean, uh, they decided to leave. She's kind of she's she's like the writing in this scene was pretty intense. It was. It was and, hard to yeah, watch. It was pretty intense, and they had to like bring it because we're like, are you seriously going to walk out on him? If you can see my notes, it literally just says, "Damn it, Kate." Damn, damn it, damn it, Kate. Because I, I, we were all so excited that we finally got the the wedding of the century. He's making smorlets. Oh. He's making smorlets. Oh, that how looks about so that omelet? good. It was an omelet, right? It was, it was a, a smorlet, so it's it's a With dessert omelet. It's a chocolate dessert omelet and marshmallows, marshmallows and, and things. Yeah. Smorlet. Mm. Yeah. Yep. 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 Um, what did you think of that last scene? Because you well, listen, watched it as a as a as a viewer. Mm-hmm. Um, I know they spent a lot of time on that scene because I was waiting to shoot another scene, and it took a really long time. How many um, hours were you in your trailer? It was a lot of it was a lot of hours. It was a lot of hours. Wow. I, ha- I had a book. Hey. Um, but it was so they obviously was they the they want to be very. I know the showrunners and the actors want to be very careful about where where they are going with this story because this yeah. is so important to everybody. And it's mm. casket. 
Yeah. I but if I just think that if you watch what Beckett does, like it's obviously so hard. No, no. Mm-hmm. And I'm I know the it's reason why she's doing that comes it. Easily. No, and I know that that's not what she like she really wants it but she also doesn't. She worked so hard and she said that in both episodes that she worked really hard to get the life that she wanted and we again us fans were like we, this is happening. They're together. They're married. This, this is, is the life that she wants, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and just that now that this has come, you know, you ruined everything. I'm just kidding. Uh, she ruined I know she did. I know she, she did. You know what? We saw the whole her whole scene happen out in the hallway, and Alexis and I were watching together, and we literally gasped. But after she even walked out, after did talking you, the to Catherine, turn was the coolest. Like as an yes. actor, the coolest thing I've ever like. Just yeah. just miserable, and then turns for a second, no. and then just. I oh, bam! But that's I got to do, do this. That's the great thing about yes. Kate, and that's what I love about her character, and that I love that this the show has been on for eight years now, eight seasons, is that it shows like, hey, even though I'm losing everything in my life, I know that I cannot be happy in the life that I am in until this gets put in the ground six feet under. Well, she also has a moment like that in the beginning, and when when they when they show the scene from the first mm-hmm. episode from the other perspective, yeah, and she gets the call from me, yeah, um, you mm-hmm. see her giving him a kiss. All smiles and, and then, then comes out the door turning. and just boom. Mm-hmm. She hard ass. She, that, that's why yeah. she's my Batman. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no, that's just she knows and she, you, JJ can attest that literally I was watching, going, "This isn't happening." Oh, okay, she's ready to kick some yeah. ass. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. back on board. Yeah. And, um, and and the so. moment before she decided to kick ass, her grief over leaving Castle literally like she it, was it, shaking. She, she literally caught she went. <sighs> Did you like caught her breath? Oh, the end. Oh, yeah, yeah. rough. And I mean, I guess the question for all of us watching is like, what is it? Is there anything in your life in the world that you believe in so much? I mean, even though I'm not an agent or a police officer or anything like that, if I knew that we know of, I mean, ooh. have you actually seen Batman and ooh. me in a room at the same time? That's right. Uh, but if <laughs> if it was life or death, and my family or friends or whoever. Uh, loved ones were actually going to be in peril because I was there, I would have to just suck it up and be on my own and deal with it. That's the only time that I would sit there and actually... You would sacrifice. I would sacrifice yeah. everything. What would you? What do you think in your life you'd most sacrifice for, Sankrish? Oh, God, my family, of course. Yeah. Um, I would... And my friends and, like, I, I think... Mm-hmm. And I would hope they would do the same for me, but I... Yeah, I think it's the hardest thing in the world mm-hmm. to not be selfish yeah. and to act... For the greater, she's doing it to protect Castle. Yeah. Did you guys ever think Although that she was actually? it doesn't really feel like that to him. No, of it's, course not. It's like and it's gonna I'm going to I'm going to go away. Can't tell you where. But I feel like Hope if this was take the other you later. But if this yeah. is the other, trust me. If we were in, yeah. if the shoes were on the other foot, I mm-hmm. feel like he would do the same. Mm-hmm. But I, he just doesn't see it because of what it's happening How to could him. You? Yeah. But do you, did you guys? I mean, a lot of people in the chat are saying that they were that they were going. They wanted her to turn around and run back to Rick and say, mm-hmm. you know what, forget it. We can do it together. Did just, you guys want that, or did you guys think it was a better decision for her to leave on her own? Well, I think it's. I think she's figuring it out too, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think maybe it, she's trying to get a semblance of what exactly is going on and what exactly yeah. the danger is. I think she's regrouping, but I I think that she's uh, before making any permanent decisions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, erring on the side of caution. No. Smart. Hmm. Okay, you saw from caution. I felt like. Um, Emotionally, I wanted her to turn around. Like, come on. It, your mother's death, death has been avenged, which one of the characters told her. Come on, go back and have a you know safe, good life. Well, I guess it wouldn't necessarily have been safe. safe right? But as a, also as a woman, I am just so fascinated, and I depend on Castle to be just like amazingly resilient and strong yeah. and stand up for these principles and like that's part of why I love her character mm-hmm. on Beckett or on Castle on Beckett oh. On, oh I'm sorry I did say Castle you did sorry, I know what you meant Becker. I know what you meant yeah. sorry I did too no I'm talking about Beckett um, that I uh, yeah I this is what, part of like what I rely on that this woman really is that strong she's like a rock she is a rock. And you see the toll that it takes on her, too. She does it mm. at, at the cost of herself. But yeah. her hair looks so good. <laughs> you know who else looks good who I can't really see besides Twitter? Uh, you guys. Uh, I want to take a minute to talk about iTunes. You guys got like that segue I just did. Um, so smooth. Thank That's you. good. Guys, 
As you can see, we're in a new studio. This is not our usual spot. And mm -hmm. a lot of you guys who do watch After Buzz in the normal, we do have four new studios. They all look different. We all are just doing big things here. And the only way we can keep our lights on and our producers happy is if you guys rate us and just tell us how we're doing. Go to iTunes, find After Buzz TV, find the Castle After Show or any of the other shows that you guys love. We do about 100 to 200 shows a week. Oh. And yeah. And, you know, we, other, we also have two other channels here as well. If you love movies, Popcorn Talk is a thing. If you love anything that has to do with just politics and culture, we have Black Hollywood Live as well, which I am also a part of. Uh, Blasian. Thank you. And we just want to make sure that we're doing a good job here. If you guys have any feedback or even just tell us that we are doing a good job, we just would love to hear your feedback. Again, on YouTube.com slash AfterBuzzTV, iTunes as well, uh, SoundCloud. We're all over the map, and we would just really appreciate it if we can just get your feedback because you guys are all rock stars. And uh, speaking of rock stars, we got to talk about about you, buddy. Sun Crush. Yeah, what yeah. Gotta say? Sun Crush. How fun is this to have you join us? All right. So, can we talk a little bit about your background? Sure. Because you grew up in the Silicon Valley. I did. Northern California. Silicon Valley. Yes. Mm -hmm. San Jose, California. I grew up in, but it was. I actually grew up in both, both places. I was born in India, and um, my family came over when I was a baby on Halloween night, and they were scared of all the people trick or treating because um, they didn't <laughs> know what it was. They didn't have Halloween in India. That's right. Um, and then um, we moved back, and I went to elementary school because that was so frightening. Because of that so one, Halloween, frightening. because of that first Halloween, we went back five years later, um, and then uh, I came back here for junior high and high school and stuff, and then and then. I came to Los Angeles. Wow, neat. So do you feel like you have a little bit of an international perspective, having grown up I think in two so. countries? I definitely do, yeah. yeah. I, I definitely feel like an outsider in both those places. <laughs> Perfect. Isn't that nice? Isn't that sweet? I know, right? I, that's like so many Americans, though. And, and even people who come to Los Angeles, because most of the people in Los Angeles are not originally no one from, from Los here. Angeles. Yeah, yeah. So we're all outsiders. Totally. I mean, isn't that funny? No, but it's, I think it's great to have a perspective that is not... You can step a little bit out. You can have one foot outside and know contextually what exactly is happening. I don't know. I, I'm really grateful for the way I grew up. Yeah. It's kind of one of your assets. Now, a lot of people know you from The Walking Dead. Yeah. Um, That's how I know you from huh, so I was like, huh, oh. you show. Um, what was it like in, to play Dr. Caleb? What was that? Like so, I mean, so much so ridiculous cool. fun. I was, I was living in fan. I was literally like walking through. Universal has that uh, Walking Dead uh, haunted house, and I was at the actual play. It was amazing. Oh my god! Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. it, it was incredible. And I did most of my stuff with uh, Scott, who plays Herschel, and he's amazing. Mm -hmm. And 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 um, Andy Lincoln, who plays Rick, he doesn't yeah. he doesn't break character between takes. He he. Oh, so he keeps his accent. He the whole keeps time. his accent. No way. Good for him. I that was my question was I was like how does it mm. you know because I've only met Norman Reedus once mm -hmm. and Great. He's that great was guy. I couldn't form a sentence right. talking to him right. but he just seemed God, like such girls a really, really well because I've known him from uh Boondock? yeah that's oh. what I've known him for so in my brain I'm just like oh don't kill me but at the same time <laughs> it's just he's he's he has a presence but he also has that like hey I'm here I can talk yeah, to you a, whatever yeah, just just, we homie. can just hang out because yeah. we met at the airport so you're already stressed out so I'm right. just like I don't want to bother you yeah. but I always wanted to know like what it I know that we're talking about Castle good but choice I, Alexis yeah. uh, I just don't you know you're it's the airport it sucks sometimes but no I wanted to know like I know that it's Atlanta so it's hot and it's, it's terrible and it's summertime and I think it's that always did, summertime too that did, <laughs> that's what I'm saying that did the heavy lifting I think for like just the mood and the atmosphere yeah. that like yeah. all that sweat is real that's oh, just, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I've heard like, I've heard things uh, it's just like no that, there's no added water or no, anything to that that's you're just me sticky. Oh, yeah. yeah yeah what is your favorite memory from Walking Dead uh, what is my favorite memory from Walking Dead? Oh, just seeing how they do the 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 CGI stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when they um stab me in the head. That's how yeah. I died. They stabbed yeah. me in the eye. Yeah, I remember eye. that. That was uh, terrible. Ouch. <laughs> they uh, the literally the CG guys are right there, and they tell him how to. They he's got a he's got a knife without a blade, and he he basically yeah. like bops me on the head, yep. and then they create the thing that way. Yeah. And I was like, this is we're making and movies. So guys. they tell you maybe yeah. what angle to do it at, so that'll be best to see. Yeah, no, like, he wouldn't really listen, and he, it's would, hard he did to it the way that. he wanted. Yeah, it's yeah. very hard when you're in the middle of really wanting to kill a zombie. I think yeah, it's, it's hard to listen. A little rough because uh, the cool thing about uh, AMC is that they do a lot of behind the scenes stuff, so they show a lot of the fans how to do that. So there was some mm -hmm. times where you'd see like. Um, uh, uh, 
Daryl trying to do something with like a crossbow or something like mm-hmm. that, and it's like just the stick. The so, coolest part of the how they, you know, when they do the when they do the motion and then they yeah. get it stuck in the person they have to yeah. pull yes. it out. Yeah, that yes. is some seriously uh, hard acting. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. seen it where they have to do it by, without anything, yeah. and I'm like, how are they doing that? How are you that? doing that? Yeah. It's so cool. It's yeah. one of my favorite things. Uh, Sorry, I didn't mean to gush about that, but so, I love, that's like okay. my favorite series of all time, besides Castle. So besides Castle, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. Love that's why I said it. These okay. those are the two shows I have to watch. Like the shows all are the so time. different. I know, right? It's it's weird. <laughs> they are. Yeah, but, I mean, Castle's getting pretty dark, though. Not Walking Dead dark, but it's it's pretty close for me. Good second. Um, I'm gonna segue. I was on the campus of your uh, college today at UCLA. You were at UCLA. Yeah, at UCLA. <gasps> at UCLA. Yes. I love and that so, uh, yeah, what was UCLA like? It was great. I uh, studied theater there, so I lived. I was <gasps> a, a theater you kid. nerd. A theater kid. I'm a theater dweeb. Oh um, yes. man, so we, re- most we of really my time. need to talk. Did you do? Oh, yeah? Did you do? David Mamet scenes. I did do David Mamet scenes. Oh, I did yes. a lot of Pinter plays. Oh, Pinter. Oh, wow. Pinter. Yay. What <laughs> dorks. Um, <laughs> Shakespeare monologue, anyone? No, no. Stayed away. Okay. Stayed away. Right. Two on the nose. Okay. Um, but no, yeah. I, and I spent four years basically living on in one little corner of the campus with all the other freewheeling. It's a beautiful campus. Isn't it gorgeous? Whoa. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was bla- uh, it was a blast. I still live with a guy I went to college with. No, uh awesome. what's his name? His name is Sterling Suleiman. You know him from Vampire Diaries and lots of other things. Hey, Sterling, what up? What, buddy? Up, what up, Sterling? Sterling? What you doing, buddy? Sorry. What is he doing? What up? I don't know. <laughs> it's probably Does he out. have a beard? Is he it? He doesn't have a beard. Why he's not? The, he's the pretty one of the two of us. Oh, uh, darling. Okay. Um, Whatever. Um, sure. What? Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. I just mean like, pr- like pretty. He's very manicured. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Sure. We like our men a little rough. Yeah. <laughs> What's I'm gonna that? be in the middle. What's that? I'm in the middle. Sometimes it, it depends. Like, like you I can like pull it. off the yeah. rugged, awesome, handsomey thing. Okay. And then there are other guys. I'm just like, oh, you're clean shaven. Okay, so you're wearing a suit. Okay, well, we should can we, out. come on. Up. Should we bring up the man bun? Because I uh, unacceptable. That, that no. needs to go. We're, we don't have to talk about okay, that. Okay, we can just move on. No, we it's kind of like the spiders. I, it needs to go. No, no, don't bring Creepy. up the spiders ever again. I will not bring a fake spider. Castle spiders. You have. Fully, I'm never gonna be able to sleep ever again or look in a plastic bag ever the same way again. It was the worst. Oof. God, that was terrible. That was and gross. also, uh, somebody, I don't know who it was in the chat, I think it was Chili, he said that Nathan Fillion actually didn't know that those spiders were gonna we're be gonna in be there because he's I, because he was he's afraid of them. So apparently, I mean, I could be wrong. So if someone knows about that, someone I have I do me. find that hard to believe. Because yeah. did you guys notice? Uh, but Nathan's a producer. Uh, on the show, that makes sense. So maybe Stana's he didn't know producer about it. on the show. I also I would warn the lead of the show that you're gonna. But put I don't. Him, but I mean, put, him, put well, a bag of spiders. Well, with, over I mean, head. again, not to get too sidetracked, but like with How I Met Your Mother, they changed the line for uh, uh, Jason Siegel. Is that his name? No, mm-hmm. wait, no, wait. I don't mm-hmm. know. But they changed it where they were gonna have like someone else, um, like something happened, but they decided to say no, your dad died, so everything that came out of him was actual real um, emotion. Oh, emotions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't know if they yeah. wanted him to do that, but I mean, this, these it's are live animals. Than actual spiders on your face. Which a lot of people are like, those are fake, right? I'm like, no, those are real. Those are no, things those are moving are, on his face. I don't know about the real. bag of spiders. I think those were fake, but everything Alexis else was and I like were talking course. about, we think they were um, Hollywood acting spiders. Yeah, they only drink Oh, they were trained. They went to theater school with me at UCLA. Oh, <laughs> I love that. I really uh, I love mm-hmm. that. You all did Pinter Place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's hysterical. Sorry, that's I was cute. looking at the chat. You have been so much fun. So what are the chances so that you would come back? Oh, I'll be back anytime you'll have me. Cause, Please, because we want to do more Because the people would like a little more Everybody of you. loves the you in the people. chat. people. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, Thanks, yeah. we're getting some great feedback. Um, yeah, because Abby Miller wanted to know, I know that uh, we don't know how long you were in college for, but how long did you study theater there at UCLA? I, I went for the normal four, four years, years, and I got my bachelor's degree, cool, and then cool. I, I moved on with my life. And then you graduated. I graduated. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, I get that in the wedding song confused consistently. Oh, um, mm-hmm. Boo 69 Beast wants to know uh, who did Sterling play in Vampire Diaries? Do you Ooh, know? He was the black vampire. Oh, that's helpful. Uh, <laughs> yikes. Uh, Sorry, Sterling. <laughs> I, uh, and then he was in Pretty Little Liars doing something shady. Oh, that's cool. Good oh, for yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's yeah. awesome. Well, now everyone's talking about the spider stuff that uh, he did know about it, but it, re- it gave him nightmares because he hey, was... I got a See, they know more than us. Yeah. I'm sorry. This is left field. No, go for Just it. Just going to take you right that way. Yeah. Um, you said your mom's in India right now. Do they watch Castle in India? <gasps> yeah. They do. Hey! So she Except it. they call it Castle. Oh, uh, ca- Castle? Ca- castle. Like, you got to... I love how you had to turn back. Castle. castle. Yeah. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's get some uh, Indian fans tweeting back to us about this show right now. 
Yeah, let's. We're, we're going to make it's, sure It's that also the they, middle of the night in India, so... It is. 12 hours, right? 12 hours, They, can watch, right? they yeah. can watch it in the morning. It's okay. We'll be asleep, but mm-hmm. they can watch later. It's going to mm-hmm. be on YouTube, like I said. YouTube. That's right. You're right. You're right. After Buzz TV. But uh, before we, we, we go, unless you have any other questions you wanted to ask our yep. lovely guest, I wanted to get into predictions. No, she's done. So, She's had it. which is this is what's happening. You're after Buzz Fuck. TV. Light show. I love the laser light show. What? Marissa does it the what's best. What's happening? So this is our section of the show where we talk about our predictions for the next episode or the season in general, which mm-hmm. I already brought up a little bit from last time, which is what I what I said about you. Uh, being part of the team, maybe for a little bit, for the whole season, I don't know. But do you have any other predictions? I know you can't say anything, but JJ? Well, I have a concern. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, well, I'm going to voice my concern. Preach it, girl. Get on that soapbox. It's just that it was really sad when Castle was... Um, it's okay. When he was kidnapped and he was gone for so long. And I'm just worried right now that... that Kate's going to be gone? Becca's going to be gone. Which is crazy because in this episode, she was so excited to start... As a captain. I know. She was already like a day or two late. Like, what's happening? Oh, and we didn't mention she did give her little um, welcome speech in the precinct. She I don't did. think we... And so we had we that moment. Wasn't that lovely? It was great. It was that, cool. was, that was my my, yeah. my my guide into like, okay, we're going to do like a villain of the week like we always do. She's going to be there. It's going to be awesome. Now we're not going to have that. How are we supposed to do that now? I know. I think... Did, did you see the preview for next week? No. I wanted to be surprised. Uh, spoiler free. Yeah. Um, it's okay. I, I think... I think the fans are going to be happy with this season. Mm. I'm not saying that the season's going to be bad. I'm already excited to see where it goes. I'm just mm. concerned of what's going to happen with Kate. And obviously, we're going to have to split them up mm. because we have to watch what Kate's doing. And we got to watch what Castle's doing. And obviously, Ryan Espo, Lainey, all of them. But I'm just trying to figure out who's going to be um, acting captain while she's gone. What do you guys think? Maybe they'll you, just bring you her. You can't say anything. I mean, it's like, <laughs> will they bring her right back in the next episode? That's the question. Or I don't is think this so. is this a couple episodes long? No, I think or like the whole season. She had her back. She's out. She's gone. Look She's, at him. He kind of knows. I'm really enjoying he knows. myself. Uh, he hangs out with Terrence Paul Winter. They go have drinks and he knows everything. Mm-hmm. That's not fair. <sighs> Except they call him Terry. <sighs> they do? I call him Terry. I do too. I don't know him well <laughs> enough to call him Terry, but anyway. Guys, this is the end. This has been great. This, has, this been, has been so much fun. We were so happy that you got to join us today. Thank we, you. Thank you so me. much for being here. Thanks, iTunes. Yes. Thanks, iTunes. Thanks, podcast. Oh, it sounds so good. All right. Anyway, so <laughs> where can, what are, do you have any projects that you can actually talk about that you want like the fans to keep up with you and where can they find you on social media? On social media, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at at Sunkrish Bala. Well, that's a hard name to spell, but... It's it's on there. It's, it's on, on the lower there. third. It's there. Oh, mm-hmm. great. Yeah. Um, and then um, I got a movie coming out. Um, <gasps> it premieres um, at the St. Lawrence Film Festival next Ooh. month. It's called Killing Poe. It's a dark little comedy. Guys, look it up. Go look that up. Mm, yeah. And that'll be out in theaters everywhere soon. Oh, yeah. And uh, cool. more Castle for me, too. Okay. Oh. Uh, trust me, we're all going to be tweeting at each other like, did you see that? What do you think? What's going to happen? I mean, you already know, but I'm not going to say anything. JJ. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us. Please tweet me your thoughts about this week and uh, this season so far at J2Snyder on Twitter and Instagram. And guys, again, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We can't wait. We will be back on track Tuesdays at 4 p.m. here at AfterBuzz TV. We will be tweeting. We will be showing you where everything is. Again, don't forget to go on iTunes, SoundCloud, all that great stuff. There's so many hands going up right now. Uh, I'm going to look over here because you can see everybody. Thanks, guys, so much. Uh, don't forget, you can find me all over social media as ATORS890. Don't forget to send me questions for my Q&A video in two weeks. Use the hashtag AskATORS890. You all are amazing, wonderful people. Be nice to one another, and we will see you next week. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 